So we're here in New Zealand. Where are we in New Zealand? Auckland. New Zealand. Auckland. This is Damien right here. He runs this power station. What is power station? It's it's a uh, strength and conditioning gym, um, and uh, one of our main elements that we do is we teach people how to look after themselves. And part of that is is crazy. So there you go, a little strength and conditioning, a little jiu-jitsu. I'm gonna do some strength and conditioning myself, but first we're gonna roll right now a little bit. He gave me a hat, a power station hat to match the bag. Let's go. Look at this right here. This doesn't work, this is the playground, okay? Now I know why he, you know, does what he does. Look at that. Okay, what well he doesn't know can't hurt him. So, I'm just gonna wear it today. Okay, okay. What tie am I gonna use? Just, just a normal tie, okay? Just like Eddie Gracie. That's not like him, actually. Yeah, we're here a little early and the seminar is starting soon. It's actually 9.30. They should be getting here any minute. And we're gonna get down. Right now, we're about to watch the Rugby World Cup Finals. It's New Zealand and France. And this right here, this is the All Blacks, okay? And they're doing the haka right now. We got the All Blacks jersey and the All Black. Gracie hat. Watch a little bit on TV and rugby is very similar to MMA. Very close. Guys look very similar to Randy Couture. So. Can you show us the haka? Look at his face. I can't show you the haka, but my wife will learn it and then we'll video her and we'll have her do it. I'm right here with Luke, okay? Luke is a black belt. He runs Australia, basically. Now, we're just talking about our favorite parts of the game of rugby. And my favorite part is when about six or seven All Blacks, or any team, but when the All Blacks do it, it's better. They create like a, a wall. And because the other team can only penetrate, they, only can, they can only go forward, they can't circle around the back, to get the ball, which is on the floor, behind the wall of All Blacks players. And the reason why I like that is because of how strong they are and how they really stop everybody from getting through. <laughs> so there is a little bit of stomping and kicking going on and he likes that, he likes that dirty kind of game, kind of fighting, you know? Don't mess with him. <laughs> Yo, Damien's gonna show us some stuff right here, okay? Pay attention. This is the reflex development flow. What is this called? It's a. Uh, is it just nice fighting? Yeah, you can. Uh, it's derived from Pikiri So it is Pikiri Toshia. Kali. Kali? Yep. Oh, hold on. What's it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you attack. He attacks you, and you're blocking it. One. Yeah. And then you're using what? The other my arm shield, comes in? Yeah, so here's my shield. You use your own knife to deflect it. Yes, so here, come up, down, now I control You're it cutting his wrist right there? Okay. I can cut, I can control right now to control. Yeah. I slap, I pin, and I come back to him again. This is One Tree Hill, okay, in Auckland. And it's like the hill of sheep. And matter of fact, I just step in some sheep, boom, and they go. And 
can see right here in the side of my kicks right here, muddy. But luckily I, I found a toothpick and I've been heavy getting it out. You see all the little black landmines? And I already ruined Damien's carpet, but it's cool though. He said he can clean it. Part of me wants to go get a sheep and like, you know, grab it a little bit and hold it down and just get a feel for what the sheep can do, but there's a certain level of respect for the animal, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I can't, you know, to give that kind of stress to the sheep, it's not my style, so no, I'm not gonna I do it. I step on another landmine It's by true. chasing it. But, I had to be careful but, looking down, looking at the sheep. But it's stressful though. <laughs> sheep might forget me. Never, it's never gonna forget me if I tackle one. We're gonna go to the Sky Tower right now. The Sky Tower is our way to be able to see all of New Zealand from one point and then be done with the sightseeing. We just came from the sheep hill. And remember I told you I had poop on my shoe, which I was not lying, okay? You can see right here, look at this right here. This is the solution. gonna for sure be good. <laughs> I think that they designed these for this. <laughs> I think you need to apologize to New Zealand. Don't tell nobody. Auckland Harbour Bridge. I can see the bridge. That, this is the Victoria Park Market right here. I can't see her. She, no, I can't see. This makes me wonder, like, how many people would come up here if this whole thing was built like that? This is the cool pier. You know how much I love piers. Actually, you don't know that, but I love piers. This is Okahu Bay. And that's, that's the, what's the volcano called? Rangi Toto. Magni who? Rangi Toto. Oh, Rangi Toto. Yeah, I was that. thinking Magneto. Yeah. <laughs> Rangi Toto. Rangi Toto volcano. Is it active? No. It's not active. <laughs> Thanks for that, otherwise it'll be shooting stuff up, right? Eh? Yeah. No, no, sometimes it can be active, but sleeping. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Okay. Dormant. It's dormant. Yeah, it's dormant. It's alive still. Yeah, it could there be. There is still life, it's still possible. <laughs> but that's the volcano, and you can kayak there, so you know, if, if we lived here, we'd be kayaking down a regular. And look at that sick hammerhead right there. Right? Reminds me of Holic, that shark. Yo, we're here in the Hammerheads restaurant. We gotta wait a little bit for the table, but hopefully it's not too long, because I already brought this right here. So I just put these in here, right here, and I, I just start early. Shield, melt underneath my arm. Shield, go ahead. Yep. Boom. Melt and pull the bay over. Now just pop me on balance oh, cool. with the Yep. And then you can finish. So, one, two, and now bang. Oh, yeah. 